Welcome back to the GWAD home videos at San Francisco CrossFit. Before starting filming today, I, all I could think about is where is my stunt double because I'm suffering. Anyways, it's the morning, body is feeling a little rough, but we have to talk about presses to handstand. Way back, we did some videos on presses to headstand, which was basically this maneuver right here. We did it in a straddle position where we did a headstand and we would just press ourselves up into a beautiful headstand and down. Today, we're gonna work on presses to handstand, which is the same thing you just saw right there, but with our arms straight. It's a little tricky, but we're gonna go through a couple of basic progressions that I think you guys should have, and if you can cover those, then you're golden. A press to handstand, if I can knock one out right now, I'll give myself 10 points. Is this straight arms? Ideally straight legs, I'm so tired. Press the handstand, you get it. It was actually not that hard, but I'm a little stiff. Um, so that's what we're gonna work on. So we're gonna talk about loading the shoulder, setting up the hips, how do we fold over ourselves, how do we use a band to make it happen, and then kind of roll into the next progressions. So first things first, we're gonna actually grab a box. I'm just gonna wrap around here, steal a box. And what we're gonna talk about is just shoulder position in relationship to your hips. If you watch me from the side, the first thing we need to do is create a nice solid base. So the hands being under the shoulders, shoulders being locked out, that would be my first position. If I can't get my shoulders to lock out fully, I'm gonna have a very hard time stacking myself over and getting that rotation. So that's the first thing. Can I get my shoulders to fully be stacked up just like when I'm pressing a barbell overhead? And how I practice that is on a box. So once again, hands down, all I'm looking for is head through and that's my stacked up shoulder. I'm not worrying about my back. If it's rounded a little bit, no big deal. It's okay. Once they understand that, what I wanna start doing is just learning how to load up my shoulder without my shoulder completely caving forward. And this is what I'm talking about. Can I get into, for example, a straddle position where I'm wide stance, hands in front of me, and now lean into it, shift the weight so I get weight onto my hands. Notice where my shoulders go forward a little bit. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to compress hips up, head through. So it's hips up, head through. What I'm trying to do is fold myself into a little taco. And that usually is pretty hard to do just on the floor. So what I do it, I do it over here on the band. So if you come over here from the side, band, hands, pull down on my belly. Now, this band is supporting me a ton. And what I can do is just sit back here and I get into the same position. This band is actually gonna assist me to get my hips up a little bit and just initiate that movement without my shoulders collapsing. What I'm fighting for here is this full lockout that is gonna hold me in a handstand position before I even start pressing. So that would be the first drill. Can you get into the band? Can you scoot back? Have the band in an angle? Allow yourself to load up on the hands a little bit, on the shoulders a little bit, and once the band starts pressing you up, you're gonna wanna roll out. So what you have to do is fight by pressing the shoulders in the opposite direction. If you have that, you are ready for the next step. And the next step is just allowing your feet to leave the ground a little bit. So pull down, watch out so you don't flash people when you do this thing. Scoot back, come into the press, just a little bit of lift. What you're gonna feel is the band wants to pull you through and you're gonna wanna roll. And that roll is gonna put you in this compromising position. Don't let that happen. Here, press through. That's what we're looking at. Two hands to get out of the band, otherwise it gets crazy. That's the first step. Press to handstand, just get your feet off the ground using the band. 